Hey guys, welcome back to another what in the fuck is it this? What is going on? Uh, I can't click on anything. Is my game broken? Uh, I gotta restart my game, guys. Hold on. I think I'm broken. I think I've been broken. Hey guys, welcome back to the actual game. I don't know if that was part of it or whatever, but it was creeping me out, freaked me out, backed out, came back, and now our hair. So let's continue our uh, Doki Doki game. It's starting to creep me out a little bit. Anyways, Natsuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing a box set with one missing book is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know that feel. I get a closer look at the box she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're going to judge, you can just go steal your gas on your door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I'll tell you one thing, Mr. Jefferson. Consider this a lesson straight uh, Don't judge a book. Don't judge text by its creepy black borderline and brokenness. Uh, okay. In fact, uh, <laughs> Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. Let's just go ahead and move the hell along, can we please? Thank you. I'm going to show you exactly why. She shoves the book right into my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attire striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo. Don't just stand here. Huh? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. Don't make me come out of the closet. I'm not ready. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? Why's that? Ah, I guess it's easier to be close together like this. <laughs> hey, don't just say that. You make me feel weird about it. Natsuki crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close together to her either. Not that I can say it's a particularly bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I notice, bitch. I can feel her peering over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? No, we're talking. You idiot. Uh... I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school who eat parfait all the time. Typical slice-of-life affair. <laughs> I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining enough to make up for the lack of plot. Oh, she's so cute. Are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm, I'm fine with that. If you say so. I guess it's fun sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Hmm. You don't. Eh. <laughs> That's not. I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah. Uh, sorry. Hmm. <laughs> Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think Megas for kids. Can't even bring it up with them, but being like, 
Yeah, you should read that stupid little fucking baby, you little small tittle bitch, you stupid dumb ass, why you read that shit? That's for you fucking losers, you big stupid small tittle cup whore. They haven't grown up out of that yet. Makes you want to punch him in your face. Ugh, I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated towards the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you. Eh? That's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can even keep it in my own room. My... Oh, my... My dad... My dad would beat the shit out of me if he found this. Oh my god, what is this? At least you stay there in the cafe room. Oh my god. Ah, uh, it's getting weird. Yeah, Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh. I can't just win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? <laughs> so? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you going to keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. What is going on? Time passes. Oh. <laughs> Natsuki is strangely quiet now. I glance over at her. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Oh, that's so cute. Hey, Natsuki. Y yeah. Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. H hey. <gasps> what the fuck? Oh my god, what is going on in this fucking game? I'm done. I don't want to play anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. No, this is too fucking weird. What the fuck is going on? I don't like it. I don't like it. No, no, she was cute a second ago, and now she's all like Blair Witch Void Project, and I'm done, I don't want to play this anymore, I don't want to play this anymore, I don't know what's going on, I don't want to know what's going on, god damn you, Amber, my girlfriend's like, oh, it's a cute game, play this game, it's not like you're gonna love it, fuck you, uh, this is fucking creepy, it's weird, I'm done, uh, okay, give me a second, give me a second, give me a sec, oh my fucking god, okay, alright, okay, all right, okay, we got this. <laughs> uh, just playing a game. Having fun, okay. <laughs> you know, she's still, you know, it's just having a conversation, you know, right? You know, you don't need a mouth or eyes to converse with somebody, do you? No, oh, God. Oh, jeez. That's okay, Art Goop, okay? What is going on? Here. Monica reaches into her bag and pulls out some kind of protein bar. Yeah, because that'll fix that. You guys remember when you're like, Hey, I don't feel so good. Maybe I need a Snickers because my fucking eyes and mouth are gaping black holes of void nothingness. Just scared the shit out of my friend who was looking at me. Just turned over to all fucking man cherry and candidate. Just standing up black hole, black eyes, black mouth fucking. Oh, just have a Snickers. That'll make you feel better. Just have a fucking Snickers. Why don't you grab a Mountain Dew from the goddamn vending machine too? You guys remember that? She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to get... She doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it into her mouth. Don't worry, McNabbinson. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway... Why don't we all share palms now? I'm gonna share it with Natsuki. Cause I'm already used to all the scary shit from her right now and everyone else is still kinda up in the air. I told Natsuki I was interested in her palms yesterday. It's probably only fair if I shared mine with her first. Okay, we gotta start with the things I don't like. First of all, I'm... Yeah, let's start with things I don't like. I don't like when your mouth and eyes go all fucking black hole warped whole shit and scare the fuck out of me if we're talking about things we don't like. Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind. I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Huh? Then what's the point of sharing the, in the first place? 
I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Hey. <laughs> in fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read your poems. That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. He... Well, I'd be more comfortable sharing my poems if it was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, Ha! Well, it's not like that great, but let me show you what real literature looks like. And he went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Overjoyed. So, in other words, you're saying you liked it. Uh. Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Just like something of mine later. Hoo, snip. Uh, you're so... You just... You... Don't understand, do you? I ain't told you that. You don't have to go and announce it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Because I don't want to end up on the evening news tomorrow. I don't want my family on the evening news tomorrow being, And that's the last time we saw him alive. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she liked my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Her. Fine, I guess. Only because Monica will make me do it if I don't. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Thanks, Aristotle. Yeah. I told you you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? What? Because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff. So people don't even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing styles wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I act when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard. Like a dish poem. Seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening. So I decided you're right about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that I put more weight on wordplay. Like I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It helps bring out the feelings in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did ya? Yeah, guess not. I decided to humor her with that last comment. I didn't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take it away from her. Uh, let's go with, um... Ronica? Hi, McNabb and Sen. Having a good time so far. Oh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we could do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of, of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just doing or going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Up, 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 up. Don't worry, McNapp Benson. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that sort of barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Mm, I like it, McNapp Benson. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. Up, 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 up. Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something not to keep with pride. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> yeah, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in that to keep, then always keep a snack on you. She'll cling to you like a puppy. Up, up, up. 
Natsuki's dad doesn't give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house. So she's in a fussy mood pretty often. But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier, this is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know. Sorry, just trying to look on the bright side. Coming out of my cage and I can do it just fine. Gotta, gotta be down because I want it all. That was bright side, in case you guys didn't know. Anyway, do you want to read my poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. That doesn't mean I always feel that way, you know. I see. Well, let's read it then. Hole in the wall, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glanced at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks in my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there, swallowing my fears. I brandish my pen. Beautiful. So what do you think? Hmm. Very freeform, if that's what you would call it. Sorry. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Up, up, up. It's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays, just like me. Whatever, you self-righteous bitch. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. What was the inspiration behind this one? Ah, uh, well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I have some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about it is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So just move your hand and go with the flow. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. Who should I show my poem to next? Since there's only one person left, it's going to be Yori. But that will be on the next episode of A Ross Games. Thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I just wanted to take a second to clarify. I know I had not posted any videos in the last few days, and I barely streamed or did anything. I know I was planning on doing a 12-hour Minecraft video. I just wanted to apologize to you guys. My dog has been sick. Um, it's been worrying me. He's been to the vet, and he's been okay and cleared, but it's just doesn't, it doesn't seem to be getting better. And... Uh, it's just, it's been a lot of stress, and on top of that, uh, I haven't really been getting a lot of sleep, because I've just been really worried about him. So, it's it's just been a mix of, like, insomnia and stress, and and my dog. So, I just wanted to apologize. I'll let you guys know that it, it won't really interfere uh, too much more going forward. Um, as you guys can tell, I'm consistent with my videos and streams. I just really want to let you guys know that it won't be a, a consistent thing where I miss days or I'm not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. It's just been a rough few days, and it finally got to me, and I just needed a little rest and relaxation. So I hope you guys understand. I hope you guys aren't too mad. And as always, guys, I really appreciate you. If you guys enjoy the Doki Doki Literature Club series, please give it a like. If you guys want to see me play any other games, please comment them down below, and I will definitely check them out. If you guys want to join the A-Ross family, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it growing every day. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. See you later.
Um, jump on board if you're down.